In this video, I'm quickly going to run through how to launch non-Steam games via Steam as well as plug in that artwork there. The obvious benefit for doing so is that Steam Big Picture Mode rocks. You can control everything via a controller and not have to pull out your keyboard and mouse for home theater PC setups. I am going to do this with an Origin game. You can do this with really any execute file, launch it from Steam. What you want to do if you are launching an Origin game is go ahead and add your game to Origin just for all the license reasons. Uh, the one-time configuration for Origin is you want to go to your Origin drop-down within the Origin desktop client. You want to go to Application Settings. Under the Advanced tab, make sure you click Automatic Exit. That way when you exit out, you don't get taken back to the Origin desktop client which is not controller friendly you want it to quit the Origin desktop client as well as the game that you just exited out of take you back to Steam so make sure you check that under advanced under Origin in game I typically uncheck enable Origin in game Steam will somewhat run over these other games that you launched through it but uh, really you just don't want any interference there I just uncheck that that's personal preference but you definitely want it to quit Origin upon exiting the game so now that we've done that, go ahead and exit out of there and you're going to open up your Steam desktop client. And this is the tile view on the right side tile view. As you can see, I already have Titanfall added here, but this would be the game that I would add. What you want to do is make sure you have the folder for it and a folder for the artwork because we're also going to add this little image here but what you need to do is either add game here at the bottom the plus add a game or go to games and then add a non steam game typically it doesn't find the games unless it's on the same drive as the steam install which mine is not because this game is 50 gigabytes so I go to browse and all I'm doing is, again, I'm on my D drive here. I'm just navigating and finding the .execute file for .exe file for or, or for Titanfall. Wherever you installed it, just be mindful of that. Click on that, open, and then you're going to go to Add Selected Program. I'm going to go to Cancel. Now, whenever you add the selected program, all I'm doing now is just removing this custom image because this is what you'll see you will see this little default icon when you add a non-origin game of any variety, whether it be or a non-steam game of any variety so that's why I see that icon there this actual big thumbnail to make it look good in big picture mode or whatnot is 460 by 215 but the easy way to go about finding this is just open up your browser of choice and I already have it here uh, all I did just to hop back is I googled Titanfall steam image and images and just kinda hover over them this one's 460 by 215 so is this one so is this one. So the majority are going to be, but there are some that are not. And really, as long as they line up with that uh, general resolution, it can scale. But I would just grab it exactly, 460 by 215. So I have mine saved. Uh, what I would do then is wherever you save it, just keep your computer organized. Go to Set Custom Image. After you right-click on that particular tile, uh, if you know the path, you can type it in. I'm going to go to Browse. Uh, this is uh, the actual Titanfall folder, so it just took me to the folder I was just in. So I need to go to my artwork folder, click on my thumbnail, set image, and that's done. So again, I wouldn't launch the desktop client. The whole reason I brought it into Steam is so that I can open up my hub here, which is going to be my XBMC install, launch Steam from XBMC, and Origin wouldn't have an equivalent that is accepting to your controller so any sort of home theater setup is not going to fly with it so then my library and that's why you want to put that thumbnail there otherwise it's just not going to fix all these are steam games uh, I think every single one of them yes all of them are and it wouldn't fit but it's also not going to tell you your hours played it just says last played whereas this one's going to tell you your total hours played either way it's going to launch it's going to quit that's how you take care of that if you have any questions please let me know thanks